Let's start with uh, creating a new project. Let's name it our debugging demo. Next. I will select the newest version. Next. Just to make things simpler. And let's create a project which is a simple application for the Android platform with uh, one simple activity. Now let's uh, wait a moment or two. Okay. First, I want to create an assets folder where I can place the HTML file. So I mark the app folder and then I select new and here I select in the folder section in creating an assets folder. And you can see here we have the assets folder. Now inside the assets folder I want to have a simple HTML file. Let's call it demo.html. Now the code inside this file will be a simple HTML document that includes uh, code in JavaScript and this code in JavaScript is just a simple definition for a function its name is calc and this is a function that will be invoked whenever the user press the button now in order to display this HTML file let's go to the code of our main activity uh, let's uh, remain with uh, the onCreate method only we don't need the other methods and let's take away those import statements we don't need and over here let's take this code away and let's create an object from the web view class um, as you can see web view is not recognized we need to add the import statement and in order to debug the code in HTML that will be displayed in our web view let's call the static method set web content debugging enabled a static method that was defined in web view and let's pass over true now let's um, make sure that the web view we have can um, render and execute code in JavaScript so let's call the get settings method on the web view object and on the object the get settings returns its reference let's invoke the set JavaScript enabled passing over true. Now if we want the web view to display a specific HTML file we need, need to call one of the options is calling the load URL method and we need to pass over the URL address that refers this demo.html file so we can write file Android underscore asset on slash demo.html. Now the last thing is making this web view to be the content view of our activity. So I call the set content view method passing over the reference for the web view object we have. So we have a web view object that will be the view of our activity. It is a web view object that we can remotely in, uh, debug the code in JavaScript running inside of it. And in order to allow code in JavaScript to run inside the web view object, we also invoke the set JavaScript enabled passing over true. We call this method on the object, the get settings method returns its reference.
and here we just specify that we want the demo.html file we have just created to be displayed in our web view. Now let's take an Android device make sure that we have enabled it for remote debugging in order to install the application and run it on my device I press run and then select to have it running on my device pressing OK and here I have the application running on my device you currently can't see it now if I browse at this URL address home inspect slash dash devices now browsing at this URL address I will get uh, to see a um, list of um, applications that have web view running code in JavaScript I can debug as well as a list of uh, web browsers currently running if I want to debug code in JavaScript running in a web browser on my Android it's possible as well but currently we are interested in uh, debugging code in JavaScript running inside an hybrid application so if I press inspect I will get to see this page and here I can actually use the well-known debugger home offer us so for example I can press sources see the code in JavaScript and the HTML and place a breakpoint over here now over here I can um, enter numbers just as if I was using the device so if I enter 3 using the keyboard uh, of my laptop I will get to see that 3 also on the screen of mo the mobile telephone and vice versa I can take the mobile telephone and use it for entering numbers from it now doing so uh, if the uh, code running uh, reached this breakpoint as you can see we placed the breakpoint in the first line of the function calc then this debugger will start working so let's press plus either on the device itself or from here and here it is we are now in this line and we can start using the, the well-known debugger home offers and get to see the value of any of the expressions we have here let's say a is currently with the value 3 b currently is undefined but let's do the step over move and b is 4 and then another step over and some will be assigned with uh, 7 and then the last line will just assign 7 to be displayed over here in this uh, text box step over and here it is